It was a culture of silence. And that culture of silence existed up until the 90s. And I think it finally got broken in the 2000s. Your father had anal sex with you. Is that right? Yes. And how old do you believe you were when that happened? I was in sixth grade. I guess, I, I'm pretty sure I was 12. Do you recall the day that he succeeded? Yes. And was that a gentle process or not? No, not at all. What was it, Mr. Menendez? It was very, very painful. And do you know if on that occasion anyone else was in the home besides yourself and your father? No, I was alone in, in, in the house with my dad. What was it that was put on you? He had a Vaseline jar. On this occasion, he put it on you? Yes. And what happened? And uh, he, he, he lined himself up and he started going into me like he had always done, but this time he was going in too far. And I said, Dad, please, please stop. And I said, Dad, you're hurting me. And he just kept on going further. At one point, I just started screaming and I started saying, stop, it hurts, it hurts. And uh, he just went all the way in. And did that hurt? Yes. And how did you react to that pain? I just sort of died off. I didn't, uh, I stopped screaming and I just sort of left myself. You left yourself? I just pretended that it wasn't happening. I pretended that the pain wasn't happening and I just, I just went away in my mind. Uh, it was too painful. Then the trauma is so severe that they begin to dissociate, to separate from themselves. And in the final state, the sexual abuse survivors describe that as children, they would float up to the ceiling and look down on the scene as they were being and yourself. I just pretended that it wasn't happening. I pretended that the pain wasn't happening. And I just, I just went away in my mind. Uh, it was too painful.